Another thing that has been getting really popular with Dr. Esselstyn is this paleo movement and of them defending cholesterol and saturated fat, telling you that you can reverse heart disease on this. Uh, what is your experience with, with working with the studies and studying heart disease? Um, is, you know, what do you have to say about the so-called cholesterol myth? Well, yeah, yeah. paleo again is another, uh, another myth. Uh, and you've got to always go back to outcomes and research. And there is no outcomes in research when that. To prove that man in evolution, you know, millions of years ago, uh, might have tried to sustain themselves with some meat in addition to their uh, vegetation that they were eating, uh, hardly proves the point. Because I'm not sure many of us would want to live to a maximum age of 28 or 29, which is what we had back then. And... Uh, the other uh, problem, besides the fact that paleo has absolutely no research, if they want us to eat, I mean, just imagine the idea of putting all this dead flesh in your system. It's no wonder that with almost all the diseases that we see that are common chronic killing diseases are made worse when you put dead flesh in your stomach, whether it's heart disease, whether it's stroke, obesity, diabetes, hypertension, cancers, all of the autoimmune diseases and so forth. But there's been some very interesting research in the last two years that has come from Stanley Hazen and his team from the Cleveland Clinic where they looked at intestinal bacteria, intestinal flora, which all of us have trillions. And it's increasingly a very fascinating area of research that is going to be important in our immune system, important for protection against heart disease, important for protection against cancer. But they were looking particularly at, uh, at heart disease. And they found that in patients who are omnivores, participants who are eating dairy products, who are, are eating lamb, beef, pork, shellfish, fish, all the animal products, omnivores, their bacteria, when they metabolize these foods, make a product called TMA, trimethylamine. And trimethylamine is rapidly oxidized by our liver to trimethylamine oxide. And trimethylamine oxide is the molecule that can create aggressive vascular disease. On the other hand, they also found out that, if, for instance, if they give a piece of lamb chop uh, to somebody who is totally plant-based, they don't make TMAO. Why? Because they do not contain the intestinal flora that can do that. It was interesting when this research came out, it was interesting to read an article in the New York Times that when the vice president of the Paleo Association was informed of this research, her response was, Yipes! <laughs> yeah, wow. That's interesting, Dr. Esselstyn. Such a validation. Yeah. Of the plant-based approach.